Previously with Peyton. Why did they have to be so hard? Girl, why are your neck muscles so, so strong? What you been doing with your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I am a member at Equinox Gym now. The knees that I got left are for prayer. Well, well, I am here. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Can we lay back? Okay, y'all, we are up here at Porsche, and my service advisor said that it wasn't that bad. It's not that bad, and they can totally fix it. Whew. That was a good workout. Every time I see you, I get this feeling. Oh, yeah. And, girl, how about my knees work? This one right here? I'm about to make me a factor meal, eat, and then lay it on down. Is it getting big, Mom? So, what now? It's getting big, Mom. What's getting bigger? My booty, Mom. When you take it off, I mean, life ain't getting any easier. All right. Quick intro here. I'm Jen. Um, I'm at the agency working with Skims. Be sure to get all caught up on the vlogs and let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. You know, if you're too busy with your end of summer goals to cook, but want to make sure you're eating well, you can always factor in factor and skip the extra trips to the grocery store and chopping, prepping and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. You can level up with gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter and asparagus. You know, Factor In is fresh, never frozen. So I highly, highly recommend factoring in Factor when you just don't have time to cook. This is one of my favorite ones. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Factor. Now, as for me, I need to get some work done. But for you, you can head on over to Factor75.com or click the link below and use my code Peyton50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. And thanks again to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Take up some space. You're too far away. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. So I'm all dressed up and I'm getting ready to go and tour a PayPal's home because I am doing my first interior design and I have my first client and she's a PayPal. So I'm about to drive out to her house um, and look at the measurements and the bedroom and the bathroom. And then we're going to, you know, have our first little consultation. Girl, I'm an interior decorator, bitch. <laughs> Stop playing with me, y'all. All right, so this is the fit today. What are we wearing? So the um, bodysuit is from Zara. The red sweats are from Fashion Nova. I'm wearing my new Versace bag because I can fit my planners and my iPads in there and whatnot. And then I have on my retro J's. We also got Fendi on the face. And for fragrance today, I'm wearing um, Fragrance Dubois Covort with Baccarat. And I smell absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Hey. Ain't no lie, no tea. This bag heavy already, and I ain't got much in it. 
But bitch, with my little Versace bag, he's feeling like a briefcase. I'm feeling real professional. Stop playing with me, bitch. Stop playing with me. You said fuck me, and I was like, cool. So now what's the problem? Okay, this is the first client, you guys. It's PayPal Mo. She's also a YouTuber. Or up and coming. Yes. She's getting it together. I have my channel, though. It is Mo underscore Charisma with the K. I love that. Thank you. What kind of bed you want? Um, I love the... You want a king size? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm I love the size one. of your room. It'll be Thank perfect you. for a canopy bed, but I don't think the sconces are going to go with the oh, canopy okay. bed. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there rug a, like, you have to keep it? No. Because of the size of your room, you're going to want, like, a 9 by 12 or big or something there. I'm okay with that. I'm going to keep it, though, but I'll put it somewhere else. Be, like, really mm -hmm. large because you want most of the rugs to be, like, like halfway right. under the bed, but also halfway coming out of the bed mm -hmm. and then a lot in the front. I feel you, and I'm down with that. Okay. Keep the sconces for sure because I want to hang them down so, sconces. Okay. So, okay. Uh, but that, that's, like, my only thing just because I've had them for so long. And I'm mm -hmm. like, even if I don't keep them long, even though we just keep them for a month, but the fact that I hung the motherfuckers up. Do I mean, they have to stay silver? No. I curse. You're totally fine. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay, so if we painted them black, that, that's then fine. You, you just want to be usable. Then you DIY. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. We can do that. Okay, good. See, you already got... Then this we might be able to do a canopy bed if we can paint them black. Yeah, you can paint, but baby, whatever. Oh, see, I, see, I never would have thought of that. I never would have thought of that. Yeah, well, I'm excited, girl. I'm smiling. So what I'm thinking is, um, th of course, the bed is going to be a little bit more mm -hmm. in the center, right? Mm -hmm. And if we do a canopy bed, you do two mirrors on the side, and then the sconces are going to be on the sides of each Ooh, mirror, uh -huh. and maybe a vase under each. Uh huh. I can see um, it. I see the it. nightstands, a big rug. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a dresser to match the nightstands and mount your TV, and then over here, maybe two accent chairs mm -hmm. with a nice little. Um, table in the middle mm -hmm. and then maybe some flowers behind it i think that you should drape this to give it like a backdrop it that'll be yeah. cute for your videos oh you, you, you like want like floor to ceiling and drapes or how like how um how long yeah they could be they could be floor to ceiling okay. they could be floor to ceiling or they could be it could be a frame like right there at the okay. top um but i was thinking like that could be a nice backdrop as well for like when you do videos yes, and maybe queen. unboxings and stuff yes ma'am mm -hmm. you better claim my unboxing <laughs> come on sponsorships <laughs> yes ma'am all right we about to head up to the scent room to meet quante up here i have some birthday gifts to buy so we about to meet her at the scent room plus they got some new stuff that i wanted to smell so you know when I'm ever in the mood, honey. I come right over here, get that new new. Uh -oh. Heard about my past, things I used to do, the games I used to play, the girls I didn't last. I know what's on your mind. You think I'm doing wrong? Can I say what is real? You are the only one that tried me. Me talking crazy, I need you all in my What's up, y'all? Me and my boy Braylon, you know what I mean? We trying Thai food for the first time. You know what I mean? Y'all trying what for the first time? Thai food. Thai food. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you from here? Yeah. You from here? No. <laughs> it was such a that was such a judgmental face. Like, like, like wow. So, so what's wrong with me? Yeah, I want to His mind got the, nah, the wheel know. started turning in his head. He turned into a real black man. He did. Like he did. He really did. A black man that do not like white black women. <laughs>
Sunday fun day I'm wearing Kirke by Tiziana Terenzi this was gifted to me yesterday from Vegas at the scent room and um, it's crazy because I had smelled this before and I was like um, don't really need it it smells like Rosso Pompeii but it's passion fruit in here so it gives a little bit you know what I'm saying give a little something different okay and for bags, do we want to carry this Fendi or the other Fendi? You can fit more in this Fendi. Just like take the, it's a little dirty. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little dirty. But so is the other one. So I'm like, I'm thinking about this one. Definitely this one. So I'm actually meeting Juice out and um, supposedly Anthony is supposed to meet me out too but he said he had a little date or whatever. I said okay date. Baby I just listen to Drake and mind my business. I just listen to Drake and mind my business. I don't be in nobody's business. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't pull up unless my name is mentioned. Now, if my name mentioned, I'm pulling up to see what's up. Now, I will say, for this little set that I got from Fashion Nova, this, this white fringe set, I love the pants, hate the bodysuit, because the bodysuit should be coming like scams, okay? It should be fitted. Everything should be mwah, like that, you know? And just snatching you. This is not. This is giving. I could have bought this in a beauty supply store. I don't like it. But for face, I am wearing the same foundation, summer foundation routine. This is a clean girl look, so I only have on like foundation right up in here and then cream blush cream highlight um nude liner mascara eyeliner and lashes and then on the lips we went with an old old classic mac ruby woo because i just really wanted to do like a I'm saying old Hollywood face. Yeah, I wanted to do like an old Hollywood face, even though the hair isn't old Hollywood. I want to do an old Hollywood face. So, yeah, we're ready to go. Oh, I forgot his name. Now we just saw Dennis Rodman. It was an interesting looking film. Huh? Wow, that's really bright. Why is this so bright? Huh? Hey. Hey, girl. I just met a PayPal. So, so sweet. She's getting ready to design her a IKEA closet. I know that's right. Because you can. Because you can do it yourself. Oh, no. She's not on social media. Alright, now we gonna go to the bank and set up Miss Ma'am a student checking account and savings account. Yeah. Well, we gotta go back to the house and get your ID and stuff, but yeah, go on, get this going. We gonna go look at some colleges next week. And I am so excited about it. It make me want to start school, too. Why does college gotta be so hot? 
I feel like that's why you don't be like you you don't like going anywhere with me because you know, I feel like that's why Cameron don't like going nowhere with me. I be like, Cameron, you want to go to the store with me? Cameron, you want to get out and go get some ice cream? Cameron, you want to go shopping? Your face peeling, pool. Are you moisturizing? Are you yeah. putting on moisturizer? Yeah. Gotta always put on moisturizer, babe. So same thing, savings account, and we'll just hit no, and then get to sign here. This one right here just has your account, like some checks in case you need them. Okay, we are all done at the bank. Got Karen set up for a checking and savings, and she applied for her first student credit card and got approved for a nice amount, like the credit limit. I don't know if it got something to do with her being on the AMX, but. That credit limit, I've never had a credit limit that high, even as an adult. Like, not, well, I mean, I, I do now, but like, first credit card though, baby, first credit card, 200 max. That's what they would give me. I am just so proud of you. Uh, I gotta put this in my purse. Yeah, we're getting her all set up. And then next week, we probably will go and get her a new, uh, I did and get everything switched over to Texas. She was like, Mom, I, I don't like this ID. Okay. She's like, Mom, I don't like this ID. I look sad. I look ugly. <laughs> I'm like, you never look ugly, but you do look sad. You do look unhappy. So we're going to do her hair real cute. And she going to take her new ID picture. <laughs> this dude on my page, he liking all of my pictures. That's kind of creepy, but... Why he liking on your picture like that? No, I'm I'm uh mocking this girl. This girl TikTok. She was like, this dude on my page, he liking all of my pictures, and I just wanna sing this song to him. Hey y'all, so I am weak over this dude. He's on my page right now. He keep liking all my freaking pictures. And I am just so glad and honored that he found my page. And you on my page, this song is for him. With your thong, 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 thong. Zazzy Black, come over here and let me put a few lovers in your hair. And smile at me, girl, you're so fly, shorty. You never ever look like I. I'm gonna show it to you. It's so funny. Alright, next stop is the grocery store. And we, we about to spend a lot of money because we don't have no food. Hey, where the peaches? I know you lying. I know you lying. Oh, okay, here they go. You a goddamn lot. I ain't mean to say that shit, girl. I was goddamn hot. So we let it grill, now we in a goddamn right. She looking goddamn fine. I wanted a bitch who was down to earth, but she want the goddamn sky. Uh, list of my problems. Got that one on my line that won't stop fucking calling. It's crazy how I made her that way. Every time I see her out, I see the hate in her face. It's the ads for the music too. Like, geez, you can't get away from ads. Arrested Development. Oh, 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 
are getting ready to try this Texas gumbo with sausage, chicken, shrimp, and crawfish. It's by George and Ruby's. This was $12.99. Y'all, let me tell y'all how funny Karen is. So I got this out of the, um, while we was grocery shopping, right? So I just reached in the refrigerator, opened it, started drinking it. She was like, mom, what are you doing? And I'm like, cause y'all know she's proper as hell. Y'all don't hear Karen talk that much, but Karen's very, very proper. She's funny as hell. She's, mom, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm getting me a drink, I'm thirsty as hell. No, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to pay for it first. I'm like, Karen, I used to work in a grocery store. They have these in front of the store so you can drink while you shop. She was like, well, I'm gonna pay for mine first. I'm not doing it. I'm like, Karen, you are hilarious. Y'all, when I tell you this girl is funny as hell, y'all don't y'all don't see it all the time. But Karen funny as hell. I'm like, shit, as long as I pay for it, ain't no problem. I'm not a thief. I don't steal. It look like you swag surfing. Huh? Yeah, I got that swag. The money's in my bag. I swag, I surf. Now watch me surf and swag. I'm on hypnotic, exotic. That polo on my body got my head inside me and a bad bitch behind me. Yeah, I'm swagging, I'm surfing, I'm swagging, I'm surfing, I'm swagging, I'm surfing. I'm clean like Ninja Turtles. Why did he say that? Cause last I checked, the Ninja Turtles lived in a sewer, baby. That's not clean. Man, cherries, cherry coke so damn good. But I'm almost convinced that my body doesn't like it. Cause now I have a pimple growing right here. My body doesn't like it. I'm on hypnotic, excited. That polo on my body got a bad bitch behind me and a bag on the side of me, and I'm sweat. I'm surf. I'm sweat. I'm surf. I'm sweat. I'm surf. I'm, I'm, I'm clean like Ninja Turtles. What's this? Oh, so boy. Wait, you, you, you're getting married? You. I don't want one. I want a house. Wait, you're getting married and you're running where? I don't want one. Oh, I'm at the pharmacy at the new program there. Oh. Hot. Ooh, dang. Oh, baby. Yeah. Start it over one more time. Okay. Well, congratulations. So. Soldier boys, too. Hop up at the bed. Turn the swag on. Take a look in the mirror. Say, what's up? Turn my swag on, take a look in the mirror, say what's up. Yeah. Bro, why all the dances? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why all the dances for my twins? You know what? I see why y'all little generation just made these little ugly ass dances that can't nobody do because y'all was trying to outdo us because we had the dances that kept you in shape doing this. Baby, this is working on your knees and your thighs and your quads and your booty. Hey, hey, hey. Karen has been putting on perfume combos ever since I set her perfume up. She been wearing combos. I'm like, okay. Show me what you put on, boo, because this smell real good. I put on this one and I put on this one. I put on this one, and I put on this one. <laughs> okay. Ciao. Okay, so she put on floral marshmallow. This smells like uh, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. The YSL Mom Putty. Putty. She put on Woody Peony. I forgot what this one is supposed to be. Woody Peony. I want to say this is... um. I forget. And she said she put on our money code. So Karen put on four fragrances today. I've never done that before. But it smells so good. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. I got some more of these hangers from Amazon. Oh, this wrinkled as fuck. 
This needs to be ironed. Can y'all believe this is a dress? <laughs> this is a dress, girl. It was supposed to be... Hmm, sure. I wear it as a waistcoat. I think it's a cute little waistcoat. But, yeah, it was definitely a dress. So today's scent of the day is Le Labo's Another 13. And I'm getting ready to go up to the bank. I have an appointment with uh the private client sector at chase um because i want to start investing in setting up an ira so yeah we should go up there and meet them to talk about that um i could have did it yesterday but i was just i was kind of ready to get up out of there and go to the grocery store and come on back home so I was like, no, nah, we'll just, I'll just keep my appointment for tomorrow. But yeah, I could have did it yesterday. I, sh I probably should have did it yesterday because she just called me to remind me and like confirm that I'm, I'm showing up. And I'm so glad she did because I, I, I have a cat. Um, so yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'll see you there. I'll be there. So I just threw this on because like I said, I'm trying to actually wear clothes out but like not outfits where i feel like i'm wasting the outfit on like running errands like okay if i've already worn it on vacation or something like that i can remix it yeah something like that because i don't like wasting outfits like if i ain't going nowhere i'm not gonna put on clothes all right outfit of the day Zara dress, she in uh, shorts, Dior slides, Jacquemus bag. The bodysuit I want to say is from Fashion Nova or Shein in my Fendi glasses. All right, honey boo boos, we are back from the bank and it was a very, it was an interesting meeting. I was extremely apprehensive to like talk about investing and stuff like that and i have a little to-do list that i need to do before we jump into it but i i was very like transparent with them like listen i'm scared to invest i have watched the horror movies and baby they have scared me and you know the financial advisor of the branch was just very reassuring he was really nice he was like you don't have to worry about that we're chase we don't really force your hand and you know what i'm saying so pretty much what i did was upgrade my account and i did some other things in reference to um my business and yeah now we're back home and i'm about to relax for a little bit um i wanted to show y'all the scents that i got from the scent room the other day and i also picked up some new ball caps from amazon so i got these off of the porsche store on amazon but i bought them off of amazon so they were like 25 dollars a piece y'all know i love wearing ball caps um when i'm having bad hair days or when i just don't want to do my hair or when i'm going to the gym i wear ball caps a lot so i decided to get two porsche um what do you call them dad heads ball caps whatever and so when I went to the scent room, Vegas always takes care of me. So she gifted me um, Tiziana Terenzi's Kirk, Kirk A, I'm sorry, it's Kirk A. And this smells so pretty, y'all. I've smelled this before and it just didn't wow me, so I didn't buy it because I was like, it smells like Rosso Pompeii. But I will say in terms of the scent, it does remind you of Rosso Pompeii. It has that unique that unique note in it that Rosso Pompeii has. But this is like a little sweeter and I won't say fruity, but it's sweeter. And it's really, really pretty, especially in the summertime. It's really, really pretty. And of course we love the bottle. Then we got an Ormond Jane. This is Montebaco. Um, it says limited edition. This smells very nostalgic. Like, it reminds me of something I've smelled before. This definitely smells like it's for a man. It's a very masculine scent. Very wearable and doable as far as, like, wearing as a woman. I don't, I won't say that this is unisex, though. This is, this is for a man. 
this is definitely for a man i wore it yesterday and i don't know if this is an older perfume yes it's an it's an older perfume on the skin this did not last that long now let me see i wore it i had it i sprayed it on this shirt let me see if you still smell it on the shirt no okay right here you can it's a very like it's fresh and almost kind of reminds you of calvin klein ck1 it's like that nostalgic it it smells it smells very remnant to something that i used to smell when i was younger really pretty scent um this was also gifted by hannah in vegas at the scent room um huge thanks huge huge thanks so yeah i'm probably going to pair that with something else and see how i can feminine it up a little bit and then we also got thu bomb bomb pop now this one was not on my radar at first but when i went to the scent room with cindy here on youtube beautiful cindy my girl she tried this on right and this that was her first time going to the scent room and she was like, I really need to find something, you know, sweet that I like, you know, uh, wearable all the time. And so she tried this one on, right? And as we were like, you know, doing things throughout the day, she was like, okay, I'm going to wear it. And then I come back and decide. She ended up liking it and went back to buy it. When we walked in, they, it was a lady, an Asian lady in there literally buying the last bottle. So she wasn't able to get it. Um, and then I walked in there the other day and I was like, okay, I don't have a Thu and they're getting ready to have an event, I think on the 9th where they'll be coming to, you know, sign bottles and you get to, you know, know the perfumer, the, similar to when I went to meet the, um, creator of BDKs. So they'll be doing that. So I was like, okay, I want to buy a Thu. And so I bought the Bomb Bomb Pop because out of the four that I smelled, I, I don't know. I don't know if I showed that in a previous vlog, but, um, for, was it Christmas or his birthday? I want to say for Ray's birthday, I bought him a Thu. And that was the first time I had walked in and seen him. And I want, I want to say for his birthday, he got two different bottles of Thu. And I'm so glad that I got him um, a different bottle. But yeah, that was my first time um, finding out about the brand. And so when I went in there, I was like, I was, I was contemplating four different bottles, right? and vegas was like bomb bomb pop is my favorite it just it's just very unique and beautiful i had my eye on one it was like an all red bottle i forgot what it was called but it smelled very similar to tom ford lost cherry this is the bottle to bomb bomb pop so it's actually upside down but it's really really pretty I will say that this can be unisex. Like I would, I would be surprised to smell this on a man and see how it wears on a man. But the bottle is really, really pretty. And yeah, um, Cindy wanted this one. I should have got her one too while I was in there because she really wanted it really, really bad. Um, but yeah, I picked this one up. It's a very scenty. As far as like the scent, it's like a pretty feminine scent. It's not unisex. It's a feminine scent. I feel like a man can wear it, but it's it's not unisex. All right, so I got a new perfume display off of Amazon. This one is different. So at the end of it, it's supposed to look like that. So it's a little different from the ones that I already have. So we about to put this together really quick. It should be pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I don't think this is gonna be hard. But yeah, I needed a new one. Cause the bottom shelf over there is kind of filling up. And I'm running out of space. And the whole point of the bookshelf was to like create more space for more perfume. But while I was watching a YouTube short earlier today, YouTube shorts are so dangerous. Like, 
it's easy to fall down a short rabbit hole kind of like tiktok i never fall down really i never really fall down tiktok rabbit holes like that because i don't really be on tiktok but youtube shorts man they'll get you so i was i started off looking at um I started off look Child, I might have to come back and talk to y'all later. This thing look like it's gonna be a little difficult. I think I think this was two. Did I buy two? Cause I'm like, why they send me two screwdrivers and two set of screws and two Girl, I think I bought two of these. I, I ain't even realize it, but I think I bought two of these. Chai. Alright, so basically what I was saying was I was watching uh I was on YouTube watching shorts and somehow I get on I don't know how this popped up in my recommended because I don't even watch stuff like this, but Apparently, this rapper named Lil J or something like that was caught on camera, incarcerated, um, engaging in some behavior with a um, with another man. Yeah. So then, you know, if it, it, it since I watched that, YouTube thinks I'm interested. So they proceed to recommend more videos on the topic. And then there's this another rapper named King Yella, I think. I'm so like, I don't know anything about any of these guys. Like, maybe I had to do a little bit more research because I'm like, child, who are these people? So anyway, King Yella was talking about the whole situation with him being seen on camera and you can't deny that. And he goes on to say, you're gay gay. You ain't just get a nigga some back shots and get some head. You actually kissing a dude. And I thought to myself, Self, did he just say that out loud? Self said, he did. I'm like, oh my God, baby, it's not safe out here. Y'all be safe out here. It is not safe out here. The times have changed. Hearing a straight man justify that, child. Baby, that's deep. Hey, wait a minute. Now, how you connected? But yeah, that threw me all the way off when he said that. I was like, man, what is going on in the world? Then not only that, but this war against black women is insane. I'm like, bro, what did black women do? You get on social media and everything is an attack. It's how if it's not out how we wear our hair, it's how we talk. Passport bros really created a safe space for these type of attacks. And then now you got Asian women talking about us. Uh, how we wear our lipstick. I, I see. I saw Jackie Aina just come in and on it, and I'm like, man, what the hell? What is going on? This is a very triggering. <sighs> I try not to let shit trigger me, but man, somebody gotta say something. I do see people speaking up on our behalf, though. I will say that because the shit getting old. Eventually, you gotta find something else to talk about. This attack on black women is insane. Hey, damn, you know what I think I did this wrong. I don't understand why black women are under attack right now. Women too. Women period are under attack, but black women are really under attack right now. And I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Not only are we against each other, but you got black men talking about us and talking down on us. You got Asian women, white women. Like, man, what's what's going on? Who upset y'all? Cause we not all bad.
vacation with me Someone to get money with, not take it from me They don't even need to be as famous as me I don't think I meet them at the places I be But deep down I think about you all day, mommy I know I'm a pit bull, but dolly, mommy I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy Say what's on your mind, I'ma call away, mommy Come and rescue me Take me out the club, take me out the trap Take me off the mark, take me off the map I'm tryna hit the group Okay, I think I like these display stands better than these i like those a lot better i feel like the aesthetic that they give off is like much prettier and i don't know it's just something about those i, I like them a whole lot better than the other ones especially sitting on this bookshelf Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. We could get it in at the gym. I swear it is so crazy how my mirrors at home be making me look so fucking skinny. I be like, God, dog, I need to eat. And then I come to the gym and I look in the mirrors and my reflection. I be like, girl, you all right. Chill out. I hate this. Mirrors really like play on body dysmorphia, but no one talks about that. Um, so we'll go over to the phone rule here. Today is our week three progression, so we start loading all of your primary lifts now. So it'll be the same give or take workout we've done the past couple of Tuesdays. Now we're just loading you. Um, so today when we go out there to start with trap ball, you actually have some weight on the trap ball this week, okay? Um, other than that, you know, same old, same old. How was your weekend? Yeah. He said that I'm good enough. Come on, my third. Think about shit that I shouldn't know. So I tell him it's one of me. He making fun of me. His girl is a bum to me. Like that boy is a cap. Saying he home, but I know where he at. Like, but he blowing her back. Think about me, cause he know that it's fat. Damn. And it been what it been. His phone like you'll send me a pin Ducking my shit cause he know what I'm on But when he hit me I'm not gonna respond But I don't sleep enough without you And I can't eat enough without you If you don't speak does that mean we're through Don't like sneaky shit that you do Best to just go to sleep with no bonnet on cuz your bob not safe but look y'all I'm on the phone with Cindy and I just put picked up these grapes right cuz I'm making me grapes peaches and oatmeal and I'm about to make me a, a egg over medium cuz we're, we're working out and we need that protein and I go and taste my grape and I'm like why do these grapes taste funny they taste funny and ain't it Cindy this, this, that's what I said huh yeah, you were like, I think I got, are the organic ones supposed to taste like this or something? Yeah, right. Like Why I got some cotton candy grapes. Yeah, I didn't even, that. I didn't okay. even realize that I had picked these up. I thought that, you, you know, now Cameron, you got these, then you picked up the grapes. Oh, so I didn't even pick the grapes out. Cameron picked them up. But I don't think she realized she was picking up cotton candy grapes. And they literally taste like cotton candy. It says on the back. These crisp, all-natural grapes vary in color from golden yellow to bright green and taste just like that famous pink spun sugar treat. And we guarantee no sticky fingers. 
and it says non-GMO. I think they're wrong for that because you're supposed to be trying to eat healthy. Why do you like cotton candy? Right. <laughs> they good though. They don't need extra flavor. They good though. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, this is today's fit. We're giving very much cash. Got the Air Force Ones on, low top. They're so comfortable. Um, the top is from Zara. The cargo pants are from Fashion Nova, Nikes. And for scents today, we are wearing carved oud. I put this on last night for bed and I'm like, oh, smells so good. I want to combo it, but I'm going to give it its grace today and wear it alone and not combo it because this is good all by itself. You don't need to combo it. But yeah, we're cute and we're getting ready to go make candles. Okay, I have been forgetting to wear jewelry a lot lately, so... Definitely got to put some jewelry on. So I'm going to wear this JB Do JBW watch. And I'm going to put on this Fendi ring. And we're just going to be simple today. And because these are like an olive green, we're going to put these sunnies on as well. Mm, mm, mm. And my fave bag at the moment, this one right here. I honestly could have got these pants in a medium too, cause I think they were a medium. All right, I'm about to switch our bags and then we about to head on out. What you doing? Where you at? Oh, you got plans. Don't say that. Sipping wine in a row. I look too good to be alone. My house clean. Hold on. Just say. Hey, you receive something when you come through the door. That's our way of greeting you. The next thing is you will receive our margarita. It is going to be made with. I, I think I have, do have some that is Casamigos reposado, and so we will have the margarita coming out, and you will receive that as well. Also, you'll get a taco board, which is our charcuterie board. I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram. If you use one or two more fragrances, you will probably have to use your skill, which you see in front of you as well. Okay. Like it? Yeah. You like that one? Okay. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Smell like a cookie.
kind of mad that I didn't take a step at it Thought you were too good for me, my dear I am good at this. I am good at this. This smells so good. Smell it. You all I have, you all I ever want. Sex, love, pain, baby, I be on that tank shit Buzz so big, I could probably sell a blank this When my album drop, bitches will buy it for the picture And niggas will buy it too and claim they got it for their sister Magazine, paper, girl, but money ain't the issue They bring dinner to my room and ask me to initia She call me the referee cause I be so official My shirt ain't got no stripes but I can make your pussy whistle Like the Andy Griffith theme song And who told you to put them jeans on? Double cup love, you the one I lean on Feeling for a fix, then you should really get your Baby, pain you on my Baby, you yeah. my Baby, Just know my condo is the crack spot Every single show, she out there repping like a mascot Get it from the back and make your fucking bra strap pop All up in the slot, till I make it hit the jackpot Okay, so at first I was gonna name it Abundance, ooh But baby, after I poured it up It's a rich bitch, ooh This smell like a rich beach house. And dude. Alright, we are all done at Coco and Shay. That was such a nice experience, huh, Karen? Yeah. We both made some really nice candles. Karen made like a caramel and leather candle. It smells so good. It's like perfect for fall. And then I threw in like a whole, y'all seen all the ingredients that I had. I had a bunch of notes and it smells like a rich bitch. I ain't even gonna lie. Like that candle smell like a rich bitch house. And I love that she, the like the excess that we had left over. She put in like a wax melt so we can use them as wax melts too. So I have like three wax melts of mine and Karen has two of hers. Y'all, that experience, and it's only $100 a person. That experience is amazing. You get two drinks, you get champagne and a cocktail, as well as a charcuterie board. And she plays like neo soul music, so it just really, the vibe is just nice. So I highly recommend Coco and Shay. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box so you guys can book it up. I know y'all gonna sell her out and book her up, so she's gonna be fully booked for a while. So I might need to book another one just so I can like make another candle because um, we getting into candle season, like making fall candles and stuff like that and buying fall candles and stuff like that. So like, I know that y'all gonna like sell her out. Definitely go and do it if you're looking for a nice place for date night uh it was a couple people it was like two couples in there that were doing do date night and it was like i think it's just a romantic um idea for a date as well so Mom. now me and karen getting ready to go get us something to eat hey. that scared you yeah <laughs> now karen me and karen going to have us a nice dinner and end the night off I smell it all over my hands. It smells so good. Me and my friends, we got money to spend. Me and my friends, we got money to spend. Me and my friend, me and my friend, we got money to spend. I got no start in the stars. I like the money, it's piling. I see that money just piling. I see it's piling and piling and piling and piling and piling and piling.
So I have been taking showers down here um, in the closet more in my build out. So I got this stone bath mat because yeah, it'd be like a pool of water right here. It makes the floor get dirty and more covered. This is supposed to like absorb the water from your feet. perfectly because I didn't really want like bath mats in here because I don't know I like it not to be bath mats on the floor because I like the minimal look and it comes with a sander to sand it but I'm, I'm not gonna use it because I really don't know like why I would need to sand it it's watermelon Jersey!